hello students we are starting with the chapter of placement and induction what is placement placement is a process which will start soon after the selection process is over the candidate is finalized it is a process where the task or the work will be assigned to the selected candidate new candidate is assigned a department where he or she is supposed to work for which he or she is selected what are the principles of placement candidate should be adjusted as per the requirements of the job that means the job requirement should be put first then the requirements of the candidate candidate should be made aware of the rules and regulations of doing the work he should be given proper information about the working environment reg rules regulations policies procedures and what are the penalties and rewards available if he go do the work effort should be made to develop a sense of belongingness among the candidate placement should be as per the qualification of the candidate he should be given that means the right man at the right job principle should be followed significance of placement why the company is opt for the placement first of all it helps you avoid the conflict because he comes to know what are his duties what are his responsibilities uh, so it will help you reduce the conflict reduction in the labor turnover because uh, they will feel motivated to do the work they know what to do so they will uh, not be in a condition to leave the organization as early reduction in the employee absenteeism they will feel motivated they will try to uh, complete their work on time builds up the morale of the employees helps the candidate to know the expectations of the organizations from him more chances of achievement of the goals improves the efficiency of the candidate what are the problems in the placement problem comes when there are dependent jobs in case of independent job everyone is doing their own part of the work no job is interrelated so Uh, there is no problem in the placement but in case of dependent jobs when they are of two types sequential or pooled sequential means one by one activity is going on and the work of one uh, worker is dependent upon the activity of the uh, uh, fellow worker then pooled means the activities of all the employees are pooled then a final output is made in this type of a work there is a need of the proper placement then comes the topic of induction induction is a process of introducing the employee to the organization like right? he is made aware of all the rules regulations policies authority responsibility relationship working environment at large effort is made to generate a feeling of belongingness among the newly entrant he is told he is given introduction about the organization its working and everything what are the objectives of induction to promote loyalty among the entrant to give good impression about the organization because first impression is the last impression to inform him about the rules and regulations to provide information about the superior and subordinate superior means to whom he is accountable and subordinate means who are accountable to him to reduce the confusion and chaos later on to reduce the nervousness and shyness of the employee to reduce the possibility of exploitation by any coworker so that he is not exploited by any other coworker he is given introduction of the organization then what should be there in the induction program every company every organization have their separate induction program where the history culture policies uh, areas of operation nature of the product and services organization structure location employee benefit programs personal policies grievance redressal terms and conditions training development programs all these information should be provided to the uh, newly entrant on the and it should be included in the induction program what are the elements of a good induction program there are three basic elements first of all introductory information that means information about the rules regulations policies on the job information about the department where he is going to work the information all every type of information regarding the department departmental head nature of the job then is follow up interview after a certain time period when the he has occupied a job he has started doing the work there should be follow up interview as well to know what kind of problems he is facing then what are the steps in induction process a definite time and place to report first of all there should be a proper time where this process will start then greeting of the employee should be there by the head of the department by the head of the organization then communication of this administrative work along with the employee welfare policies orientation of the department nature of the job and this oral verbal explanation should be accompanied by the printed instruction manuals handbook so that he can go through it whenever he is facing any problem then what are the problems in this induction process sometimes uh, it is uh, the company is having uh, is not having the trained supervisor who can uh, adequately run this induction program 
there should be proper sequence of the information if the you have provided him with the overloaded information it will lead to chaos in his mind employees asked to perform sometimes very early he is assigned some challenging jobs which for which the outcomes will be negative so the employee becomes panic at that situations so employee is expected to work on a number of jobs simultaneously at starting should very less number of jobs should be given to him no simultaneous tasks should be there but if the number of uh, jobs are given a lot of number of jobs are given simultaneously then he will feel demotivated then what are the induction practices first of all instruction guide can be there instruction guide means some kind of a guide books manuals regarding different steps to be taken by for the induction program who is going to conduct the induction program then counseling after that there should be a supervisor who will guide against the uh, false impression follow up interview to remove the difficulties faced by the employee then socialization socialization is a process related with induction induction is also sometimes known as socialization process of acquainting the new employees with the new business environment right he get to know what kind of environment he is going to work in then what are the core activities role knowledge he should know what kind of a role he is going to play in the organization social integration that means interpersonal relationships should be uh, developed organizational knowledge about the total working of the organization so we are done with the chapter thank you so much